Hello guys! Welcome to the first episode of Corkscrew It, where I invite you to join me on my discovery journey through the world of wine. In daily life I am a chemist, so I thought it would only make sense to start this first video with what wine really is and what it consists of chemically. I once listened to an interview with Andrew Waterhouse, a wine chemistry professor at the University of California in Davis, and he gave a definition along the following. Wine is a tart alcoholic beverage that is sometimes astringent. Wine is a tart or acidic. Typical wines have pH value of around 3 to 4, where pH equal to 7 is neutral, which places them somewhere between vinegar and beer in terms of acidity. This is the sourness level of a tart sourdough starter and also of some fruit like peaches, blueberries or apples. Wine is B, alcoholic. Most wines have around 12 to 15 percent alcohol by volume. That means there are around 75 grams of pure ethanol in every bottle of wine. This is equivalent to one cup of vodka or around three and a half pints of a 5% beer. Most microorganisms cannot survive in acidic alcoholic environments, so wine doesn't really go bad. It can go disgustingly sour, but it will not give you food poisoning. Wine is C, a beverage. Let's not forget that most of a bottle of wine is actually just pure water. Wine is D, sometimes astringent. Astringency, mostly in red wines, is a purely textural feeling. Large biological molecules called tannins interact with proteins in our saliva and precipitate them. This reduces lubrication in our mouth and gives us this very typical dry, chalky feeling we have when drinking red wine. That interaction between proteins and tannins is also a reason why we so often pair highly tannic wines with a large steak, just to give those tannins some extra protein to grip onto. I will dive more deeply into those and other important wine ingredients in future videos, so please subscribe. Today, let's try and recreate wine based on what we already know about it. I have prepared here three different wine glasses. Glass number one, is four tablespoons of vodka, our source of ethanol. Glass number two is mostly water with a teaspoon of lemon juice, our acid. Glass number three is an overly brewed tea I prepared this morning, which will give us the tannins. Mixing those three and adding just about a quarter teaspoon of sugar should give us something almost like red wine in terms of its chemical composition. So let's try it. Well, that looks almost like a very old Pinot Noir. <laughs> Doesn't smell too bad. Tasted like a very alcoholic iced tea so I probably added a little bit too much vodka. Also quite acidic. Make sure you click on subscribe and I will try and touch on some other wine aromas in future videos. I will try to uncork or unscrew another wine-related problem next week. But now is the time for some actual red wine. So see you later, guys.